Welcome, this is Lucida of Twin Flame Rx and Lucitero here to bring you a new reading for today and for a new wave of energy coming in. So basically what I'm going to be looking at today is the effect of Uranus direct because it was retrograde for the past five months. Now it's going direct and it will be in the sign of Taurus. So Uranus is the planet that rules the sign or constellation Aquarius and so there's going to be this major kind of shift in the energy that's unexpected. It could start today, it could start to happen in the coming few days or the next few weeks, but this is another one of those times where our energy will be transformed or changed or shifted into more of a feeling of safety and security with that Taurus energy, but it'll be a change in also how we work practically. So there may be an effect on your twin flame union. If you are a divine feminine, you may be interested in knowing uh, what the view is that your divine masculine will have of you and your situation. Um, same thing with the karmic partner situation. That's what we're going to be looking at. So before we get started, I just want to remind you that this is a personal or not a personal reading. So if you'd like a personal reading, please check my website, twinflamerx.com backslash consultations for how to order one. Also check the description box below for more information for how to follow me and on social media and how to order either a reading or connect with me in a chat. So let's get started on this reading. The center card there is the Divine Masculine or labeled DM and that is the Hanged Man. <clears throat> so the energy of the Divine Masculine at this current time as Uranus is moving direct in Taurus is kind of shifting into an energy of waiting for a sign. That's what the Hanged Man is doing, kind of waiting for inspiration, waiting for the right moment, waiting for something big to shift. So it may need to catch up to them, but how they are viewing the Divine Feminine is going to be apparent in the first column or the left-hand column labeled DF. In the past, we see that the Divine Masculine may have had a seven of pentacles type of energy going on thinking about the divine feminine in that there was something that they were growing they were growing the connection with the divine feminine they may not have been ready to take that connection and make it a physical connection or to ground it in the physical world pentacles are all about physical so that's why you know the divine masculine looks like they're looking at that bush of pentacles and waiting for it to be kind of mature in order to pick it off. So maybe the divine masculine was waiting for the divine feminine to get into their empress energy, which they are at presently with that um, major arcana card there, that three, that empress card. So the empress is very beautiful, attractive, creative. You know, she's the empress. She's in charge of everything. Uh, she's fertile and she's beautiful and the Divine Masculine wants to be the Emperor and be beside the Divine Feminine. Whether the Divine Feminine is, you know, um, of the same sex or not, so it's just whatever twin has that energy. We're looking at the future. We have the Ten of Cups there for the future energy. So there may be a shifting of the energy where the Divine Masculine is finally seeing the Divine Feminine and maybe the Divine Feminine is also, after all these you know weeks and months and years for some of us of, of waiting to be in that perfect harmonious twin flame union we've learned divine feminines to become more nurturing more inviting more allowing more feminine and to when dealing with the divine masculine be in that energy when you're out in the world you may have to be more assertive but with the divine masculine let them be the assertive one and i feel like their energy 
kind of shifting into being more assertive as the divine feminine is being more allowing and the one who's wanting to receive so we see in the future that they do have the ten of cups coming up that perfect harmonious union on the other hand we have the divine masculine who will be divinely inspired to move away from the situation so you see in the future with the karmic partner or situation there's that uh seven of swords energy i'm sorry six of swords energy where they're moving away from the moving away from the situation so to me that means that the divine masculine is cutting the bs out of their life and yes in the recent past they saw the karmic partner situation or presently i should say as a soul connection but they are also realizing that it's time to let this soul connection go and that's where in the past there was karmic justice that came about allowing this all to manifest now for the divine masculine and the divine feminine so now what we're seeing is really that the divine masculine is going to be divinely guided with that hanged man energy waiting for a sign waiting for synchronicities to build up waiting for the right energy so if the divine feminine is really in his or her empress energy that is when the divine masculine is going to be most attracted to him or her so get in that energy and you will be well on your way to divine union namaste